It's 5.30 in the morning and we are anchored just south of Russell Island. Hey, I think I see our first load of bread being prepared. First load on the boat this year anyway. That's right. This is the first rise is complete. Now we need to just, man, it's almost baked. So. It's been sitting out in the sun on the underneath the Dodger. It has. That's the first rise. 90 minutes. And then we'll divide this into two loaves, put it in pans, and do another rise, and then we'll bake it. So on the way south, our rub rail on the side here actually started peeling off. About 10 feet of it peeled off. Tie it off to the shroud here, and so now we're in Spanish wells and we're doing the repair. So I had to piece this piece of wood back together, which it did, and now we're putting the wood on, and then we'll put the rub rail back on, and Welcome home! Alright, well this is Tom. He has sailed a 22 foot uh, shallow draft Rhode Island fishing vessel, gaff rigged, from Rhode Island. And he has just arrived in Spanish Wells. Ruth's taking a nap, so I have to finish off the uh, story of the first loaves of bread. So it's in the oven. What do we got left? Just a five minutes? Okay, so the result is two yummy loaves of bread out cooling in the cockpit. So we will eat heartily for the next week or so. We are just south of the harbor entrance, south harbor entrance to Spanish Wells. And it looks like one of the lobster trawlers has just come home. They stopped just outside the entrance here and deployed their small boats. Each trawler typically has three or four small boats that accompany it and when they're catching lobster the trawler anchors. The small boats go out and collect lobster, come back to the trawler which is essentially a floating freezer, clean the fish and put them in bags and freeze them for market. How's it going, Pierce? Well, it's going pretty good. Just pumping up the tires on the bicycles, folding bikes to get them ready to go ashore and Spanish Wells and take a little ride. Hey, Ruthie, what's happening? Taking a D ride to shore. A what? Bike riding. Taking your folding bikes in for a ride around the island. I'm glad she's in charge. I've been trying to do it right. I've been living a lonely life. I've been sleeping here instead. I've been sleeping my bed, sleeping in my bed.
Home again, home again. It is December 12th and today we plan to transit the Devil's Backbone. This is uh, southern Florida, Cuba, and then here's the Bahamas in this area. I'm going to zoom in now to the area where we are. We're in the north part of the central Bahamas, right here. Uh, this is North Eleuthera, and we're currently anchored um, off of Russell Island near Spanish Wells. Uh, we're here. Uh, this island appears Spanish Wells. Today, um, we're going to transit the Devil's Backbone. That's about eight miles, and we'll be going through uh, the channel in Spanish Wells, up around Gun Point, and then we enter when we round Ridley Head, we enter the area called the Devil's Backbone. And that's this reef system up above North Eleuthera, about three miles long in this area here. Um, total distance is about eight miles. Um, once we transit the Devil's Backbone, we'll enter the top of the Great Harbor, um, which is uh, bounded by Harbor Island in the east. This is Harbor Island here. And then we plan to spend Christmas and New Year's uh, with friends and uh, enjoying all that Harbor Island has to offer for two to three weeks before we head on to uh, other parts of the Bahamas. Where are we going? Uh, we're getting ready to go to the Devil's Backbone. Arr. You gotta say R when you say Arr. Arr. That Devil's Backbone. Yeah, so we're south of uh, the Spanish Wells area and heading into the South Harbor entrance and we'll go out the East Harbor entrance and up around Gun Point and we'll have more video then. All right this is a part of the waterfront of Spanish Wells we haven't shown before it's, uh, it's an industrial part. Let's see the big refrigerator containers uh, ready to receive lobster and get loaded onto uh, ships. In fact we've got that happening right now. Here's the Caribbean Express uh, taking on shipping containers, likely full of lobster. It's a busy day in Spanish Wells. Looks like we've got another uh, freighter coming in to do its thing. So there's Spanish Wells, and then Gun Point we've rounded, and there's a beautiful beach here. Some houses along the north shore of Luthra. And then this is Ridley Head right here named after a famous skipper that found the first passage through the Devil's Backbone to get into Spanish Wells. Uh, there's a passage just north of that promontory uh, that uh, is deep water. One thing that's a little unnerving about this passage is how close to the shore you need to get in order to avoid the reef, which is just offshore up there keeping an eye out looking for coral heads to avoid. Special treat today is we've got some crazy Frenchman from Spanish Wells up flying around in his ultralight. Off the port you can see some dark spots in the water. Those are coral heads. Alright we've completed the portion on the west end and now we're yeah, actually inside the reef that is called the Devil's Backbone. Uh, you have to get very close in to avoid it. Uh, it's a pretty uh, unnerving experience. Just off the port bow is Pierre Island. Uh, that's the island that's at the very top of the harbor. Once we tuck behind that, this uh, roll due to the ocean swell will uh, abate considerably and we'll be in a much more uh, comfortable and protected waters. There are marks in the Bahamas, but um, they are not what you're used to seeing in the United States. Uh, typically in the U.S. you're going to see a beautifully maintained post uh, with uh, a red triangle or a green square with lights on it and all kinds of good things. Uh, this stick in the water right here is what passes for a day mark in the Bahamas, and they are far and few between. Now we're passing uh, between Pierre Island then off to starboard here is Current Point. Uh, this point uh, marks the turn 
the top of the bay. So once we ground current point, we will be in the big bay west of Harbor Island. Okay, there it goes. We're about uh, 150 feet off that bay mark. And we're in about uh, 9, 10 feet of water. And this is high tide, dead high tide, 11.30 a.m. today. All right, so we made it around the Devil's Backbone through the shallow water at the top of the harbor, and we are approaching the anchorage at uh, Harbor Island, it's on the east side of the island. We like to anchor uh, just below a place um, that's uh, south of a marina called Valentine's Marina, which has been here for very long time. Up ahead you can see the government dock in the center of this frame here, and then just some houses along the uh, bay side of the island. It's morning in the anchorage on the west side of Harbor Island. Harbor Island is a destination for larger cruising vessels from the states and other places. Many of these are charters, but some of them are privately owned. It's actually really sparse right now. It's a little bit early. I'm looking across the Great Harbor to Eleuthera Island here and north. And we are anchored in pretty close right off Roundhead Point. And the pink building there is a very old structure. Previously the governor's residence, uh, back when Harbor Island was the capital of the Bahamas. That's since changed to Nassau many years ago. Okay, Harbor Island. Here we go. <laughs> 